Hello. Is that Positron? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Positron, is it? Ah, uh, hello, hello, hello. Hello, Kandarsa. Oh, Kandarsa is green now. Oh no, Kandarsa is like a lighter shade of Bellum. <laughs> Why is everyone green in the chat? Oh, Bellum's pink. Wait. Wait a second. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I can't recognize anymore. Any anyone anymore. Ah, uh, woe is me. How how how's everyone doing lately? I will be so confused today. I won't be able to recognize a single person. Like it's like I'm colorblind, but like name blind. You know. Alright, give me one second. Sorry, I was uh, replying to some emails. Um, Positron, oh, Positron is now now red. Uh oh. Oh no! Ah, you guys! <laughs> my, my only way of distinguishing you from everyone else. Click ASMR. Okay, give me a second. I'll, I'll be there. Uh, why don't I show you guys this today? I don't have that much time to stream today compared to other ones because I, I already finished my uh, midterms and everything. Uh, so I am now currently working on some other some other work. Um, but but everyone, take a look at this, right? My Prime Day shopping spree has gotten me um, a few new items to my soldering station. I, I got a new uh, soldering gun and stuff because my old one was like literally falling apart at seams. It also has the hot air extension, so I can like do S and D parts now. I got one of these things. I need to get gloves. I'll be right back with those. Uh, I got a microscope over here to see like S and D parts, and I also got this. Uh, they sent me a new one of one of these things, and it, and it had the right tolerances. So I think it was just like what that one module. So um, I have upgraded my soldering station. Also, it came with a nice little metal pump. Cause my old plastic one was falling apart as well. You need a plunger for the syringe. Ah, my finger. Yeah, this, this, this syringe is like pretty good. It's it's very powerful. Sounds low on my end. Oh, hold on. Is it? How's that? Is that better? I usually have my mic audio like turned down to negative eight decibels, but like this is zero decibels. On my end, it's pretty loud. All right, I'm gonna go get some gloves, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, solder like one of the, this macro board together. Uh, I need to like make some new code for it. So uh, I know Kandarsa has been doing some PRs on, on on his end. I have to like put into this board. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. I did like 20 lines of code while I changed cards to fine, and they did 10 lines. How much he's paying you for this labor? <laughs> hey, this is open source code, all right? Uh, it's, it's as open source as it's gonna be. Okay, let me see if I can, uh... 
use STRC pi. <laughs> okay, um, my work area is like really small in here. I want to get a better light and I want to get a better chair. A hello sensation. No, 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 what you do is this. You take a block of wood, you take your soldering iron, and you draw... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's such a college thing to do, honestly. I was totally looking at blinky. Yes, you are. Um, Bellum, Bellum and Darcy's blinky kits are over here. Uh, here, let's do a tour. So, the, the thing is, uh, Niacy has already packed, like, four of them, and they're ready to ship. Problem is, I didn't have batteries. And Amazon's battery protocol was trash. Like, they didn't have 9 volt batteries. I just got some today. So I'm going to be sending out very soon. But Niacy is not coming on Monday, so they're going to be out, like, at minimum Tuesday. Slack redeem do, five, do six squats. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, 36, clearly never grow up. All right, I guess, I guess I'm doing squats first. But Bell and Canarsa, I already have your kits. Like, look, look, I'm not, I'm not capping. Like, they're, like, all packed and ready to go. Look at that. Uh, and if, if, if there's any missing parts, we're gonna blame Nicey for it, alright? <laughs> I was literally asleep when she made this. I also just realized how insanely dusty the all, the, all five of these printers are. So I bought, like, um, a cover for each of them. My address has changed, so I'll send a new one. <laughs> no cap! <laughs> so, we're, we, we were trying to sell a ball, a gold breadboard holder from you, right, Tom? <laughs> you what?! A, a, a golden breadboard. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, I, I was gonna send to Bellum's old address and then it wouldn't be there. So yeah, just go ahead and send me a, uh, send me a, send, send me your address and I'll, I'll, I'll send you that board soon. Or the kit. I'm making Blinky Learner number two for this, this, uh, I forgot about the squats! Give me a second. I completely forgot about the squats. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna do six squats. Honestly, Kandarsa and Bellum, chief of marketing for 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 Lop Lop Fafa. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, how do I how do I get the best view of this? How do I get the best view of my pain? Sure, let's do this. Then you can see like the midsection. One. That's hold on. You guys are looking at my crotch. There you go. There you go. It's a little better. So that was one. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Is that a normal sound? <laughs> Electro, puzzle, you want a golden breadboard holder? <laughs> Alright, I'll. I need to include it in the box of stuff I sent you guys. I have a box of stuff just like in preparation for sending to Bellum that I just keep filling up and I haven't sent it to him yet. Okay. Okay. So, I need to solder these, um, these chips on here. The thing is, I don't know which orientation these go in. These, uh, WA... WS2812 chips. Let me go check, check my, um, all team diagram. It makes me look like Bellum. <laughs> the pink color. Bellum's not pink. Bellum is famously dark green. What do you guys, what do you, what do you guys mean? All right, VDD, VSS on the two corners here, and a DND out. No, it makes Bellum like you. <laughs> Autocorrect. I need to, like, um... Like, manage my pricing on the website. It's, it's so questionable. Like, the. I, I recently just put free shipping because. Oh, now Kandarsa actually looks like Bellum. Oh, what have you guys done? <laughs> what have you guys done? Uh, okay, hold on. So, it's gonna be. Like this. So, Arduino raw, Arduino ground, VDD is raw, VDD, VSS is ground, and then D in, D out, okay. Okay, so, theoretically, I, I should be writing that. Painting the bums red. Alright. 
Let me like attempt to use my new equipment correctly. Or relatively correctly at least. So this is supposed to go here. Right? And I'm supposed to like clamp it to here. For reasons unknown to men. Oh, hello, Nicey. How are you doing today? Oh, now you guys can see it. Okay. So then I need to apply the. Um, push the I am pushing it together, Kandarsa. I am. Chill out. Alright, alright. Then I have to do, do the solder paste thing, and I, and I don't have a stencil because I don't. Apparently it was free. Apparently I could get a free stencil from JLCPCB. I just didn't order it. Force the springs to compress the tight in the bottom. I think they're compressed enough. I don't, I don't want to compress them anymore. They're compressed enough. I'm Bellum. <laughs> I didn't know Halloween came this early. Alright. Gloves, because I know I'm going to, like, um, if I don't use gloves and I put this, like, lead solder paste, I know that A, I'm probably going to get lead poisoning. B, my chat's going to be really mad at me. Okay, because I know this thing is lead, and I know this the syringe is not precise enough in order to actually, like, put this stuff down well. One second. Ugh. I've just been notified. I uh, know there's a skunk outside my window. And there it is. Okay, so I've removed one source of ventilation, which is my window my room while I'm soldering, which is great. Alright. Chicken is good. Alright, so I'm going to use this, uh, I think this is pretty cool, it's like the S&D paste. I'm going to screw on the uh, syringe. You know, I, I, I actually got, I actually used part of my brain to understand that I probably need a, uh, need gloves for this. It's, it's lead and I don't want it to get in my skin. And I probably have to like, spread it out. Okay, this is going to be difficult because I, I can't, I can't realistically see this because the camera's in the way. So I'm going to probably try to, try to put this on here. a little too much paste, actually. Let's see. That needs a plunger? I have a plunger! What do you mean? I have a plunger! Okay, and I need, um... Where do pliers go? Lick some of it off. No, I am not licking lead off of the... off of the, off of the PCB. As much as I don't have experience with this, I have half a brain, and half a brain is enough to understand that I probably should not be licking it off. Okay, you know what? That is actually a good connection. That is Pogger's Pog. <laughs> Great, now, now Bell looks like actually crazy. Is today impersonate your, uh, impersonate your favorite Lockwell Fafa streamer viewer day or something? I also forgot this, uh, resistor over here. Take a while. Like I don't know how 
much to squirt out. That's, that's the thing. Looks like a fun amount. I'm sure it doesn't like go everywhere I actually saw that it's some other. Like I've done this once and it kind of worked. Doesn't mean that it's gonna work the second time, but like I can hope. It also takes a good amount of force to get this stuff out. Again, there used to be lead dental filling, so imagine that. True. I can't scroll up on chat, by the way. Chris, have you ever have, have any interaction with Baker Day? Yes, Bellum told me to rate it once. And I rated it twice, on, 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 without Bellum telling me to. <laughs> Maybe I'll go in there one day when I have a big thing printing. I, I can put Belty on there. Alright, looks like, um, that's that, and I can just wipe this off one quick. Chris, therefore you should go on. That's a good correlation. And then, oh, I forgot, oh, hold on. I forgot the two, two pads over there. Uh, okay, I have to put some more on. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm gonna get lead everywhere and like poison my entire soldering station. Yeah, the Arduino's on the, uh, uh, down here. I can't see this. Oh my goodness. my hand so I can like drop it. Cool, I have been streaming some makes there lately and helping develop a community where I can't it's a good place and a great great cause of a partner like me. But a cautious presence like you may be overestimating the toxicity of lead. What do you mean overestimating the toxicity of lead? It's just a precaution, what do you mean? Crew of his gloves. If the Arduino wasn't on the bottom, you could do the hut from the bottom. Yeah, but the Arduino is on the bottom, so I can't do that. Unfortunately. Alright. Time to place the, uh, the which one call it. So these were like really cheap ones from China. Um, I don't know if they actually work or not, but we'll, we'll see. So supposed to like move themselves to place with the hot air, right? The white little thing is on the bottom right corner. As a certified safety auditor and toxic substance specialist, I approve the glove gloves as well. See, Bellum? Gloves are good. <laughs> 
and the lead soaks into your you can't get lead out of your system and lead soaks into your skin uh, when you handle it. What's wrong with being a mad scientist? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being a mad scientist. three on there and there's like nine of these there's nine of these LEDs on the entire thing and again I don't even know if this the circuit works it's gonna like blow out any like computer that handles this board I told someone that I made microwavable plasma in a ball and did a lot of destructive testing. They agreed that mad science is just more fun. True. Why am I missing one LED? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where's the ninth one? What did I do with the ninth one? Thought I had nine. Guess not. Okay, I gotta get one more of these LEDs. <laughs> nice, what do you say? Just finish your report. Nice, you get them summoned by Canarsa. He said he didn't pack one of the LEDs in the box. Too bad. <laughs> if Niacy, if you guys have missing parts in your Blinky Learner kits, everyone blame Niacy because I did not pack them. Niacy is in charge of packing all those kits. Not me. I take no blame. None at all. drop it. Cool. Alright. I just gotta make sure that all these directions are correct. Bottom right, bottom right, bottom right. Bottom right, bottom right, bottom right, bottom right, bottom right, bottom right. Good. Directions are correct, now I just need the S and the resistor. Should I use one? Should I use 330 or 1K? What do you guys think? I feel like I should use 1K. I'm sorry for one key resistor, I'm just gonna say that right now. Okay. 
And I dropped it. Where'd it go? Oh, it's right here. My fat fingers. My fat gloved fingers are too fat to handle these. Wait, so if a kid is missing an LED, then Lock One has to mainly back some LEDs? Or, or are these different from the ones I'm saying? These are different from the ones I'm sending you. Don't worry. This is just for me. I personally check every single wiki. I dropped it again. Um, shoot, where'd it go? Uh, I think it fell to the ground. It's lost. It's lost. It's voided. Peak customer service, Kandarsa. That's what we're after here. Oh, I found the resistor. Oh, I got it. Fine. Good enough. Just like solder paste, ball paste. And stick themselves to the to the pad when I heat them up. Okay, I'm taking my gloves for this. And then uh, just clear the area because it's going to be from hot air. Now the melting temperature of this solder is about um, 270 degrees Celsius, I believe. It says it on the um, pack here. Yeah, so this reflow thing melts at 235 degrees Celsius. Okay, so you just gotta crank this thing up to 235 degrees Celsius. Oh, this thing, this thing also has like safety features on it. It won't let me actually heat it up unless like I, I have it on here and then remove it. So I remove it, like this. And then I can turn it all the way up to eight. And I can start Blasting it. Some hot air. <laughs> so I can 3D print the solder. <laughs> Maybe. Some solder balls. Melt. 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 We need like more light. There we go. I'm melting it. It's so satisfying to see it melt, actually. Mm, the last time I did it, it melted a little bit faster than this. Melting. I have to adjust it. It's not centered. Theoretically, it should center itself, though, right? It melts. yourself in place. I think that works. Okay, on to the next one. Oh yes, it's melted. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's melted. So on the bottom here. Good. 
top. There we go. Nice roasty toasty. The top needs more work. There we go. Okay, now you shift it back into place. Maybe like bit longer tongs. Like what? What is this? And that's why they gave me like the longest tongs imaginable. small circles around the part. Yeah, it's 300 degrees Celsius right now. I don't think this is centered though. It's already soldered on. Okay, I'll do the next one. It's sweet time. I think this this is this is such high melting point solder, really. Oh no. Right there, I fixed it. Why is it not melting? Okay. It it just blew it right off. I'm literally gonna hold it in place until it melts. I think it melted. That one's good. Alright, three down, seven more to go. I can't read chat right now, but um, I'm pretty sure everyone is like yelling at me that I'm doing something wrong right now. I'm just like not realizing it. Sweet time to melt. Fine. Melt's already. Maybe it's scared of the stream. You guys are scaring the solder. Oh, that one looked nicely. Oh, please don't create a short circuit. I think you created a short circuit. Oh, no. Too much solder on it. It's shorting. I want to fix that later. I'm gonna get the two capacitors soon. <laughs>
I need to like not drop this thing. This thing is vibrating a fair amount. Sitting off center, actually. Okay, I think it's fine. Ah, no! Saved it. Oh, you guys, I saved it. Three more. Three more, and then three. What if I can crank up the temperature? Yeah, that'll make it a little bit faster. Too much solder in this thing. It did not approve my too much solder. I need a stencil for this. Oh, it's blowing it away. Still.
on this one. This is taking a while. It's taking its fair time. I think that works. Oh my goodness, it took forever. It'll explode. Probably. What did I drop? Alright. You know what? This is this is actually this doesn't look actually half bad. I burnt the heck out of this Arduino room. It's like really hot now. Ah, it's very hot. <laughs> you guys want to see what it looks like under the under the microscope? Oh, that's that, I found my ninth LED. It's right here. It was right here. Uh, well, I'll save when when I have to like make another one. I knew it was here somewhere. Lesson on heat. Oh, lesson on heat indeed. I want to see under the microscope. I bought this microscope for a reason. Alright, let's see. Okay. It's microscope in time. You guys get to see the premiumest view of the, of the microscope possible. A very premium view. Just calibrate it. Okay. He's gonna give him the 4K to pay you? The what? If you explode my computer, you owe me 4K. <laughs> Lands on his salary over time. And uh, it's okay, Bill. That's why I blow up my own computer first, and then I blow up your computer. Now right, let's see what it looks like under the microscope. Oh, that looks fun. Oh, that is... Huh. Uh, I might have touched touch this up with my actual soldering iron. Let me see if I can, like, do that here. Without, like, burning this and everything. Um, is this a... Look at all those blobs. I think I added way too much solder. This is why I need a stencil. Same for this one. Oh, my goodness. The solder blob. Those are just, like, really bad connections. That is just an extremely questionable connection right there. Like, that one doesn't even exist. I think I do need a stencil. That, that vial is just, like, filled. Yeah, I need to touch this up with the soldering iron. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, wait. I want to show you guys the, um... This thing. This board. Oh, look at all those connections. Next time, they'll put Arduino on first and solder the SMD with the heat from the bottom. Yeah, I, I was gonna do that, but like, I already put this on, so. I, I, I already like put everything on this board except for the um, SMD components. This one, I, I put the SMD components on first. Um, 
So like this thing. By the way, Kandara, so this this chip doesn't work. Um, I don't know if I'm doing anything wrong, but it just just doesn't work. Like I I think I did did an okay job soldering this together. I think. That was the chip. Here's the um, actual connection. Like, I tested this thing out. It connects. It's fine. But, like, I can't... It doesn't detect it on a computer, so... The rest of the circuit is okay. Blurry. Yeah, look at these connections on, on the NRF. Wild. Like, I'm not sure what the expected behavior is, but whatever it was, it wasn't what I had. And I think it, it was soldered on fine, so I don't think that's the issue. Same with the uh, USB connection. I got 5 volts in ground, but like, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good 5 volts in ground. It's not rotated. Um, I put this on correctly. So the dot is lined up with the dot on that corner. So... Right here, so we have a dot here and the dots in the corner. As so you line them up, and everything is connected properly. Like I, I am able to measure like five volts in ground from like this chip as well. So I don't think it's the chip that's the issue. Same right here. Like this internal connection is fine. Um, this just doesn't want to work. Let's take a look at the earth view. Like, everything else on this board is fine, except for that. Yes, I, I do have pulled resistors on the USB bus. Alright. So I think, like, right now, I need to, um... I need to check which ones I need to, like, fix again for this board. Basically, I need to touch up on all the LEDs, I think. I wonder what, I wonder what will happen if I plug this in. Let's, let's try it. I'm going to plug it in from the bottom. Neat little microscope, though. Okay, so um, here I have some 5 volts signal. Which is not going in apparently. Okay, the indicator LED is turning on. Um, nothing is happening to any of the LEDs, they're not getting hot or anything. So I think that's okay. I need to like put in a signal from the Arduino Pro Micro into each of these and see what happens. So I'm gonna put this in. This won't fit because um, I don't have like slots accounted for the um, for the two WS eighteen Bs. I think I need to print another case for this first. Um, and then I can test it out. Ow. Stab myself in the finger. I can't test this out with the with button connections yet, but, um, yeah, okay. I've, I've never used the soldering iron before from, from the kit, or from the setup. I'm going to go ahead and, and use it just to clean up some of the connections, and then I'm going to end the screen. So, I've got to get my container things. It's probably the same, same, same way. It's the same, this is the same iron. Just like a different, different brand and stuff. Shouldn't be too difficult to use, right? on 400 I set it to 420 because that's a funny number yeah I think it's a pretty good song here so far the, the wire isn't like getting my way or anything anything too bad Oh, I 
has a nice fat tip as well. And it's glorious. Okay. Um, I just need to touch up on some of those connections. I took out the plastic. I think that's it. For now. Just make sure I do the thing where you like give it some solder. Back to the holster. This is a fat tip, and I'll say that. It's a nice fat tip. Okay. Uh, now it should be good. I think I accidentally burned some of the um, plastic inside of that LED. But as long as this is not touching, it should be okay. Let me just test you using the multimeter. Uh, where's my multimeter? Oh, it's right here. Just need to do a continuity test to make sure everything's okay. Ah! are getting any voltage. Yes, they are. So the addressables are getting voltage, 5 volts, but they're just not getting any data, so that's why they're not lighting up. Okay, they're getting 5 volts here, 5 volts here. Oh, that's connected. Is that connected? That is. Uh oh. For this project would just be to analyze Kandarsis code, add some more code for the adjustables, add some more code for the, um, the rotaries, and then we'll be good for the project. And, and also, uh, cat up a new uh, 3D design for this, 3D model. Alrighty, that's exactly an hour of stream, and I'm going to get out of here so I can finish up work for tomorrow.
Cool. Kandar says, but no, Kandar's your code is fine. I'm sure it's fine. I've, I gotta look at it though. Okay, who are we rating? Who are, who are, who, yes. Who, who rating? Who are we rating? I am a bit tired. Ah. Uh, unfortunately for us, Akenshi is not streaming. So, so, therefore, we must go to Maker Deck. Or we can go to Ducks. I'm glad Kanarza hasn't come along pull requesting my stuff, the same as always. Chrissy just got I I don't know who that is, but um that is track. Anyone you guys want to raid? Maybe someone new? If not To make your deck we go! <sighs> Bell and skin up is where? Uh oh. Is it just Bellum 128? Hold on, I gotta see this. Hey, we get to see Slack. Alright. Hey, it is! <laughs> wow, look at all those uh, contributions in November of 2021. <laughs> alright, alright. Uh, let's go to Maker Deck. Um, and then let's watch, uh, let's watch Slack. Okay, I'm done for today, so thank you guys so much for watching. I, I gotta, um, I don't do Lua. <laughs> I gotta head out and uh, finish some of my work before I go to sleep, and I have work tomorrow at 6 a.m., so good night, and uh, have a great night. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. All right, bye-bye. Fitness stream next time. What else am I supposed to be? Or what color am I supposed to be? Uh, you are currently blue. I think you're usually a darker purple. Kadarsa is usually a dark purple. Yes. Uh, if there is a darker shade of purple than that, I think you were that, but I think that's close. And Bellum was dark green. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. We've we've returned. We've returned. No more confusion for me when I'm so trying to solder things together. Alrighty. Now we end the stream. Goodbye, everyone.